Hi guys, welcome to the how to crack the Java interview. Today we will discuss some of the core Java and Java it interview question asked by one of the interviewer in society general interview. We'll discuss there are three three questions are there. There are three questions are there. First question is find the occurrence of each character. Find the occurrence of each character in a string using Java it. Second one, what is for each loop? What is for each method? What is the use of that? And the third question is swap two num two strings. Swap two strings without using third variable. Swap two strings without using third variable. We'll go to the first question. First question is find the occurrence of each character in a string. Find the occurrence of each character in a string first just example i have a string like that string str str is equal to good morning just example i have a string like good morning okay good morning then I need to find out the occurrence of each character in that string. For this, just example using Java it for this, just I am declaring one map, map, it will take a key as a character, key as a character, and uh, that value as a count of that each character. I can write a long, then map equal to then I need to first I need to convert the string to stream string to stream string str how to convert you can convert string dot cash one method is just yes a r s cash then I need to again I need to convert map to object map to object obj map to object obj then c that is the lambda expression c then i uh, i am using the type casting here care of a c care of a c then after that i'm collecting 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 the each character dot collector dot collector of dot collect of dot collect of not collector dot collect of collect of collector collectors collector cj method in class collector cj class in stream api okay dot collectors dot grouping by grouping by character Grouping, grouping by, grouping by, then C, lambda expression C, lambda expression C, comma, collectors dot counting, collectors dot counting, okay, that is that is my program that is my program it will convert that uh, string good morning to it will find out the that program will find out the occurrence of uh, each character in that string okay we will go to the programmatically okay just example yeah here here i have a string string good morning sir yeah and the same thing map I, I took a map, map, uh, key as character, then value as long, then it's, then str dot cast dot map to object, then c lambda expression, then type casting of c dot collect, then I collect, collect dot collector dot grouping by, collector dot grouping by, it is a class, it is a class in a stream API, it is contain the method like grouping by grouping by then a grouping by of uh, 
C lambda expression C C means character lambda expression C lambda expression C comma collect start counting it will count the number of each occurrence of a character okay we will see control s will run that program uh, okay what is the output yeah uh, g first uh, first is space we have in a space and good morning space are then let's say space is coming one time then r is two time r is two time here in, in good morning morning that is r is there in sir another r is there r is two time s is one time d is one time g is that small g small g is one time capital g is one time just just i'll change uh, that is also small g and uh, i'll remove the space then what will happen we'll see R is two time, S is one time, G is two time now. Yeah. See? If I put double space, what will happen? Okay. Then around that program. Yeah. Space is coming two time. Okay. That is the program. Using Java, it, you can find the number of occurrence of a character in history okay we'll go to the next question next question what is next question what is for each what is for each actually for each a for each is a default method in java for each is a default method in java it is introduced in java it for each is method is introduced in java it Default method is introduced in Java to provide the backward compatibility to the older interface. It is used to introduce in it is used to introduce in Java. For each method is used to introduce in Java to provide the backward compatibility to the older interface. And what is backward compatibility means? Means without without affecting implementation class, without affecting the implementation class. You can happily add a new method. You can happily add a new method in interface. In interface, that method is called as default method. If you add a new functionality in your interface uh, by using the default method, then it will not get a compile time error. It will provide the backward compatibility to your older interface. I'll give the example, just the example. In my collection class, array list, link list, they can be used the for each method for retrieving the data after Java 8, from Java 8 onwards. Because for each method is introduced as a default method in iterable interface. The iterable interface, that collection interface extend iterable interface. That's why that for each method is available to the all the subtype of all the subtype of a collection interface also that for each method also in, also available in map interface in java 8 onwards then all the subtype of a map can use that for each method to retrieve the data from map and uh, it is also that for each method it is also used to support parallel processing it is also used to support the parallel processing and it, it will use to improve the performance of a program performance of application it is, it is faster than the oh, enhanced for loop it is faster than the enhanced for loop okay okay we'll go to the third question third question is swap two numbers swap two numbers without without using third variable without using third variable how you can swap two numbers just the example I have a string, string S1, S1 equal to Amar, string S2 equal to Ram. I have two variables. How can I swap each other? 
means after swapping after swapping s2 will be amar s1 will be ram s2 will be amar s1 will be ram we'll see programmatically okay we'll go to the our uh, tool yeah just example i have two string string s1 is called amar s2 is equal to ram i want to swap two um, string sorry two string without using third variable first first i'm doing like s2 equal to s2 equal to s1 plus s1 plus s2 i can do that i can do that there is no problem then 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 s1 equal to again s1 equal to s2 dot s2 dot after uh, just example s1 s2 is equal to this line number 38 s2 equal to s1 plus s2 then it will be concatenate to string ram amar okay what is the length like this ram amar is 4 ram is 3 then length is length is like length is 7 here okay okay then next line next line i want to get the string s1 again s1 is equal to s2 dot uh, substring s2 dot uh, substring of uh, substring of uh, uh, s1 s1 dot length s1 dot length comma s2 dot length substring of s1 dot length of s2 dot length okay that is the s2 okay then we'll go to the next line how to find the s2 s2 equal to s2 equal to s2 dot substring of s2 dot substring of 0 0 comma comma s1 dot s1 dot length s1 dot length plus 1 length plus 1 okay then then after that we'll print that then after that i'll explain then i'll print like system dot out dot print line of uh, system dot out dot print line of uh, s1 s2 after a swap then plus s1 then system dot dot out dot print line of s2 after swap s2 after swap then plus of s2 then i'll be i think everything correct uh, syntax is correct okay i need to run that program we'll see after a swap s1 is s1 is ram after a swap s1 is ram after a swap s2 is s2 is see we'll run one second after a swap s1 is ram before a swap s1 is amar after a swap s1 is ram before a swap s2 is ram after a swap s2 is amar how it is working actually first we are doing that line number 38 is 2 equal to s1 plus s2 
is two equal to s one plus s two. Means it will concatenate like that. Amar, Amar, Ram. Okay. Then length is length is seven. Okay. Then after that, after that we are getting the string s two. String is one. Is one dot substring of a is two dot a substring of a is one dot length. Is one dot length four. Four to here. Four to here. Here four. Here four. Four to here. Is two dot length is now seven. Okay. In the line number thirty-eight, thirty-nine. In line number thirty-eight, is two length is seven. Okay, here we are passing is two dot substring of four, comma seven. Then four comma seven. What is four comma seven? It is contain like that. A M A R A M A R Ram. Okay. Then length is seven like that. Then is one dot length. Is one dot length. S one dot length four four comma seven four comma seven four comma seven wow ram from four here to here that is ram then ram will store in S one again we'll go to the S two S two S two dot substring of zero to zero comma S one dot length plus one S one dot length S one dot length four four comma five then zero to five that is the zero to five zero to five is Amar okay. That's why it is swapping like S one will swap to S two, S two will swap to S one. Okay, we'll go to our slide. Okay, everything finished. Then we'll discuss some more uh, uh, Java interview questions in next interview.